story. Lakshman Narasimhan, who recently stepped down as the CEO of Reckit, has been appointed as the new CEO of Starbucks and will join the company from the 1st of October. Manglam has been looking at this and he's standing by with some very interesting insights into the appointment. Manglam. Well, Lakshman Narsimhan is a sought-after man. When he announced his uh, exit from, unexpected exit from record, the stock fell about 5% and everyone was wondering what's brewing. Well, tell you what's brewing. He is the new Starbucks CEO. He will succeed the interim CEO and founder, Howard Schultz, from April 1, 2023. He joins Starbucks on October 1, 2022 as incoming CEO. So he takes over as CEO only from April 1st, 2023. Prior to uh, you know uh, joining Starbucks as CEO, he of course was the CEO of Reckitt Ben Kaiser, where he was appointed on September 1, 2019 itself. So in three years, his key achievement was to navigate Reckitt through the pandemic itself. He's also held various leadership roles at PepsiCo. In fact, on a side note, uh, when he was the CEO of PepsiCo Latin America, he actually went ahead and struck a deal with Starbucks itself. So now it's a bit of a full circle. Let's talk about this star's bucks now. His base salary will be $1.3 million, then cash incentive of 200% over this base salary. And joining bonus, he gets about $1.6 million as well. The important things he has to watch out for in Starbucks Global, the challenges and multiple opportunities. The first one is bringing business back post-COVID. Of course, a lot of the to-go sales have met uh, pre-COVID levels, but you know, overall business has been uh, under pressure post-COVID, especially on account of inflation and rising costs. Other couple of factors that he'll be working on, worker unionization effort that has been taking place at uh, their Buffalo, New York, uh, you know, area. So that is something he'll have to navigate through. And on account of that, there was higher employee turnover as well. Navigating competition is something that he'll have to manage to keep Starbucks relevant. And growing presence in other geographies, will India be included in that or not, is something we will have to watch out for. While he was, uh, you know, a part of this list earlier itself. He keeps his place in this illustrious, ever-growing and elite list of global business leaders of Indian origin, joining the likes of Sundar Pichai, Sandeep Kataria, Arvind Krishna and Shantanu Narayan.